What's shiny? Liquid conducts electricity and is also the surname of a legendary rock star. Yeah, you guessed it, Mercury. This naturally occurring element has a lot of uses, but it's also quite dangerous. Even a tiny amount can be poisonous. So what if we had oceans of it? Could Earth harbor oceans of liquid mercury? What effect would it have on the planet? And what effect would it have on humanity? This is what if. And here's what would happen if oceans were liquid mercury. Before we go diving into a pool full of mercury, we'd better learn about its properties. Mercury is the only metal that exists as a liquid at room temperature. Both water and mercury turn into gas or vapor at higher temperatures, yet as a basic element, mercury doesn't break down like water. It merely changes state. This makes it toxic to ingest and especially volatile as it often ends up accumulating in our soil, oceans, and in many sea creatures we like to eat. A lot of this is as a result of human-made mercury emissions from the burning of fossil fuels, gold mining, or the mineral extraction of cinnabar. Mercury works especially well as an amalgam or metal alloy, making it great for extracting gold from rocks, forming tooth fillings with silver, or extending battery life by bonding with zinc. It also expands and contracts with changes in temperature, making mercury a key ingredient in thermometers. Although it's incredibly useful, what would a whole ocean of mercury do to our planet? Well, perhaps the most immediate change we'd notice is a whole lot of objects floating up to the surface, which may be great for treasure hunters or cryptozoologists. Hey, look, is that Nessie over there? Oh wait, never mind, just another log. Literally, anything sunken throughout history would come flying up to the surface, making the ocean a massive floating dump. This is because mercury is 13 and a half times denser than water, making it incredibly buoyant. According to Archimedes' principle, the upward buoyant force exerted on a body immersed in fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid that is displaced. Like salt water, mercury has a higher density than fresh water, so most objects will float to the top but be unable to find equilibrium, even an anvil. So brace yourself, fearless sea travelers. Your boats are going to lose balance and tip right over. And if you happen to fall into the ocean, you'd make a little splash and bob around like a human boy. In fact, if you had a good set of flippers or incredible balance, you could try to walk across the ocean. But enough of the antics. We've got a looming problem concerning the basic necessities. With no water left in the ocean, we'd have to produce it artificially in a lab, and we likely wouldn't have enough energy to produce enough water for the entire global population. We might end up waging war over the stuff in post-apocalyptic desert battles. Okay, that's if we manage to endure any of the planetary effects. Surprisingly, changing our oceans to mercury would only increase Earth's mass by 0.26%. Thankfully, this wouldn't be enough to cause any drastic changes to our orbit or gravity, but the added weight on the Earth's mantle would put a lot more pressure on tectonic plates. This would trigger catastrophic earthquakes and volcanoes all over the world, killing billions, if not every living thing on Earth. Sorry to burst your mercury bubble. Even if you managed to survive, the atmosphere could kill you. Clouds of mercury would form and the air we breathe would contain poisonous mercury vapor, causing severe neurological problems like anxiety, 
memory problems and tremors. We'd have to wear masks 24-7 and a whole lot of sunscreen. With its shiny metal surface, Mercury has a higher albedo or reflectivity than snow, meaning we'd have a lot more solar radiation to contend with. All this increased radiation could lead to a cooling effect, significantly lowering the overall global temperature of the Earth. I guess the silvery lining here is that we might actually solve global warming. Only briefly, though. Humankind probably wouldn't survive very long in the severe toxicity of a liquid mercury planet. But back here in the real world, maybe we could at least learn practical ways of staying afloat and surviving on a sinking ship. It's all here in our new series, How to Survive.